It's the sound that many students at this government school wait for every day. It's lunchtime, and across India, tens of millions of children like these are sitting down for a free meal provided by the government. We get rice pudding, rice stew, fried rice and soybeans. For many of the poorest children in India, this free school lunch is the only decent meal they'll eat all day. It not only helps fight malnutrition, it actually encourages the children to come to school. But the recent poisoning of dozens of primary school students in Bihar state has damaged the credibility of the program. More than 20 children died after eating food likely contaminated by insecticide. Parents like Shobha Devi are now frightened for their own children. Sometimes they cook good food, but sometimes it's bad. And when they cook good meals, the children eat it. But sometimes the food has insects and it's spoiled. But government teachers say they are unfairly blamed for the problems in the midday meal scheme. We have to be vigilant all the time to make sure we have firewood and fresh vegetables to get this ourselves from the market and monitor it. This is distracting us from teaching. Children's advocates say the program is beneficial, but quality controls need to be stepped up, along with training for school cooks and teachers. The food quality monitoring mechanism. The monitoring of the food quality here is very poor, but it's also a difficult task because there are 84,000 villages in Bihar, and all those villages have to be monitored because the food is being cooked there. For now, the government is continuing with the midday meal scheme, but it will have to work hard to restore people's faith in the program. Karishma Vyas, Al Jazeera, in Navsa, Nevada village, Bihar.